Well, if you think the internet is just a place for trolls and only bad news, our next story is one that brings plenty of hope. A Studio 10 viewer got in touch with us, very concerned about one of our very own, and her message quite literally saved senior journalist Antoinette Latouf. Antoinette Latouf is no stranger to the camera, but the award-winning journalist is usually telling other people's stories. Late last year, her health became the story and arguably the biggest win of her career. Why would you do this to a religious figure? Would it be OK if we did it to a Buddha? It was immediately after a regular appearance on Studio 10 that viewer Wendy McCoy wrote to the show, concerned about what she spotted on Antoinette's thyroid. I was a little bit reluctant to read what this weird message was. As we know, the internet can be a pretty horrible place and I've been trolled and had death threats. So I didn't expect that this message was something that was going to really change my life. After a 10 daily article revealing her chance diagnosis was published, Antoinette's neck literally went viral, reaching audiences in Europe, North America and Asia. And in the Middle East, I uh, had relatives calling my dad. They'd seen it on cable television, you know, in tears, going, what's happening to my niece? Uh, friends in Canada, uh, I got a call from a friend who said he heard two women at the gym talking about Wendy and I. So the story really resonated with people all around the world. Antoinette and Wendy have since become friends. I just wanted to touch base to let you know I'm going into surgery today. Oh, I hope everything goes well for you. It's very unusual for uh, a, a complete stranger to uh, report a, a lump. I certainly haven't had that uh, ever reported uh, before. So how are you feeling? Um, a little bit nervous. Yeah. I was a bit anxious last night, but I'm, I'm told Dr Clifford's you know, the he's the best. Yeah, he's so. in really good hands. Time to go in. The surgery removed a life-threatening cyst from Antoinette's voice box and she now has to manage an incurable autoimmune disease. Often a lump is benign, but uh, certainly a lump in the neck can be serious. One in ten Australians will have a thyroid disorder and seven of the ten will be women. Antoinette has since been made an ambassador for the Australian Thyroid Foundation. If that had been left, goodness knows, it could have become more serious. And we, you know, so whoever pointed it out to her was an angel and saved her. An angel indeed. Ali Donaldson for 10 News First. And of course, we're all wishing Antoinette a speedy recovery. But for more pictures and an update on her health, just head to 10 Daily.